What's up, bumpers? It's Jerome here with another TBC video. And as you can see, we're currently snowed in as a massive blizzard. But that's not going to stop me from getting you a brand new video. We're going to talk all about Hygel Trash Farming. 500 gold an hour. Easy. Could be way more if you run your own groups. I'll tell you everything you need to know to get in on this right now. Before we get started, please click that like button, hit the subscription button, and don't forget to click that notification bell or I won't be able to keep making videos like this one and I don't have much time. Oh my God, is that a Yeti? What the heck is that thing? All right, so you're probably wondering why you need to do Hydro Trash Farms as soon as humanly possible. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. Basically, it's as simple as this. You go into Hygel, you do the first eight waves with your group, and then you wipe to, to Rage Winter Chill, and you reset and start all over again. And the reason you're doing this is because you're going to get between three and four Hearts of Darkness every single time. The Heart of Darkness is used in all sorts of crafting uh, for the new phase, haste items, and uh, Shadow Resistance as well. And these are worth over 500 gold each right now. I sold a couple for 600 gold each last night. You're also getting Mark of the Illidari. These are used for uh, for flasks, for free flasks. So those are also valuable. And you're getting a ton of epics, about one every two to three runs. You're getting a really, really valuable epic, which are best in slot for some classes. And you're getting over a 1,000 rep per run, which is fantastic. The Sands rep gets you those epic rings faster. This is all a no-brainer. You need to be doing this as soon as possible because... Of course, you have to remember the uh, Heart of Darkness will go down in price over time as more and more people get them. So this is a very time-sensitive farm. All right, so you may be wondering, what are you going to need to get into this Hygel Trash Farming? It's simple. You're going to need between one and four Paladins, and the meta right now is to run three or four Paladins. The reason for this is because each Paladin can kind of take threat and, and sort of mitigate some of the later waves, which become more dangerous. You're also going to want at least three healers. Three to four healers is perfect and at least 8 to 10 range DPS. I'd love for you to bring a bunch of Warlocks. A Major 2 are great as well, but lots of that big range DPS will really, really help with your Hydro Trash Farming. You may be wondering just how profitable is Hydro Trash Farming. Well, if you can do the math, you do about four runs per hour, getting between three to four Heart of Darkness per run, and that's going to be 500 gold each minimum. These are going to be used in Shadow Resistance gear as well as Haste gear. You can keep them for yourself as well if you wanted. But basically, you're getting at least 2,000 gold per run split between, let's say, 15 people. So 8,000 gold split between 15 people per hour is absolutely massive gold. Easily banking 500 plus gold per hour per person. Way more if you reserve one of the hearts for yourself as well, which a lot of groups are doing. You could be making absolutely insane bank every single hour. Another really compelling reason to do uh, Hydro Trash Farming is the incredible epics that can drop. Things like the Boots of the Divine Light are absolutely fantastic for healers. True Biss, basically. And these pieces would take you forever to get doing Hydro normally. And so they're absolutely must-have. You, you go in there and do Trash Farms just to get these items. It's 100% worth it. And on top of all these great epics, you can get your epic ring from the, the quest line. The Sands rep is also going to be way, way faster if you do this with Trash Farming. I'm already almost exalted. It's only been a couple days of trash farming, and it would have taken me at least a month if I did normal runs. So this is absolutely the way to go for it for your rep. All right, so we've talked about why you need to go back into Hydro right now and get that trash farming started for the incredible gold per hour, for the amazing rep so you can get your exalted as soon as possible, and the incredible must-have epics you're going to need to get from Hydro Trash Farming. I want you to go in there right now and come back to me. Let me know in the comments below. Have you been doing Hydro Trash Farming? What do you think? Have you gotten any epics? I want to know everything. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to have a great day.